A quiet morning in the sunny coastal city of Malaga, Spain, where the Mediterranean waves gently lap against the shore and the city awakens to another day of vibrant life. This serene atmosphere was abruptly shattered as Spanish police, acting on an international arrest warrant, closed in on a luxury villa nestled in one of Malaga's most affluent neighborhoods. The villa, with its high walls and lush gardens, had long been under surveillance. Inside, they apprehended two men, William Alcivar and Alex Alcivar, the notorious leaders of Ecuador's most powerful drug trafficking organization, the Tigarones. The brothers, who had been living a life of opulence, were caught off guard by the swift and decisive action of the Spanish authorities. The Alcivar brothers, long suspected of orchestrating a reign of terror in their home country, were finally caught in the dragnet of justice, thousands of miles away from their stronghold. Their arrest was the culmination of months of meticulous planning and coordination between international law enforcement agencies. This operation, hailed as a major victory in the fight against transnational organized crime, sent shockwaves through the criminal underworld and offered a glimmer of hope to the beleaguered nation of Ecuador. At a press conference, Spanish and Ecuadorian officials praised the collaborative efforts that led to this significant breakthrough. The arrest marked a turning point in Ecuador's ongoing battle against drug-related violence. For years, the Tigarones had operated with near impunity, their influence extending deep into the political and social fabric of Ecuadorian society. The Alcivar brothers, known for their ruthlessness and vast network, had become symbols of the lawlessness gripping the country. Their criminal empire was built on fear, intimidation, and a complex web of corruption that reached the highest levels of power. Their capture, a testament to the effectiveness of international cooperation, sent a clear message that impunity for such criminals is no longer a given. The operation involved agencies from multiple countries, each playing a crucial role in piecing together the puzzle that led to the brothers' downfall. For the people of Ecuador, living in fear of gang violence, this operation brought a sense of relief and a renewed hope for a safer future. Communities that had been paralyzed by the constant threat of violence could now begin to rebuild and reclaim their lives. The success of the operation was also a testament to the power of intelligence gathering and undercover work. Months of surveillance, wiretaps, and informant testimonies had provided the crucial evidence needed to secure the arrest warrants. As the legal proceedings begin, the world watches closely. The trial of the Alcivar brothers is expected to be a landmark case, shedding light on the inner workings of one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the world. In Ecuador, community leaders and citizens alike are coming together to discuss the future. The arrest has sparked a national conversation about the need for continued vigilance and the importance of supporting law enforcement efforts. Internationally, the story has captured the attention of media outlets around the globe, the dramatic arrest in Malaga and the subsequent implications for global drug trafficking networks have made headlines, highlighting the ongoing battle against organized crime. Law enforcement agencies are using this success as a case study, analyzing what worked and how similar operations can be conducted in the future. The lessons learned from this operation will undoubtedly shape future strategies in the fight against transnational crime. For Ecuador, the arrest of the Alcivar brothers is more than just a victory against a criminal organization. It is a symbol of national resilience and the enduring spirit of its people. The country stands united, determined to overcome the challenges posed by drug trafficking and violence. As the sun sets over Malaga, the city returns to its tranquil state, but the impact of the day's events will be felt for years to come. The dragnet in Malaga is a reminder that justice, though sometimes delayed, is always within reach. And for the people of Ecuador, it is a beacon of hope, signaling the dawn of a new era where safety and peace are not just dreams, but achievable realities. William and Alex Alcivar, infamous leaders of the Tigarones gang, had been on Ecuador's most wanted list for years. These brothers were not just petty criminals, they were masterminds behind a sprawling criminal empire that had its roots deeply embedded in the underbelly of Ecuadorian society. Their criminal enterprise, deeply rooted in the coastal city of Guayaquil, extended its tentacles throughout the country and beyond. Guayaquil, known for its bustling port and strategic location, became the perfect hub for their illicit activities. From here, they orchestrated a network that spanned continents, making alliances with other notorious criminal organizations. They were accused of drug trafficking, 
money laundering, extortion, kidnapping, and countless acts of violence that terrorize communities and destabilize the nation. The Alcivar brothers were not just involved in these crimes, they were the architects of a reign of terror that left a trail of destruction in its wake. Families lived in constant fear, businesses were extorted, and entire neighborhoods were under their control. The brothers, operating with seeming impunity, had become a symbol of the growing power of organized crime in Ecuador. Their influence was so pervasive that it seemed as though no one could touch them. They had connections in high places, and their wealth allowed them to buy protection in silence. Their reign of terror included a brazen attack on a Guayaquil television station, a chilling reminder of their power and audacity. This attack was not just a random act of violence, it was a calculated move to send a message. The Alcivars wanted to show that they were in control and that anyone who dared to oppose them would face dire consequences. This act, intended to intimidate the media and the public, further solidified their image as ruthless criminals who would stop at nothing to maintain their grip on power. Journalists were silenced, and the public was left in a state of fear and uncertainty. The Alcivars thrived on this fear, using it to tighten their hold on the city and its people. The Alcivars' control over drug trafficking routes, their vast wealth, and their network of corrupt officials made them seemingly untouchable. They lived a life of luxury, flaunting their wealth with expensive cars, lavish homes, and extravagant parties. Their influence reached into the highest levels of government, ensuring that they could operate without interference. However, their luck ran out on that fateful morning in Malaga, proving that even the most powerful criminals are not beyond the reach of the law. In a meticulously planned operation, law enforcement agencies from multiple countries collaborated to bring the Alcivars to justice. The brothers were finally captured, marking the end of an era of terror and the beginning of a new chapter in the fight against organized crime in Ecuador. Their arrest sent shockwaves through the criminal underworld, serving as a stark reminder that no one is invincible. Ecuador, once known for its stunning natural beauty and peaceful way of life, has been grappling with an unprecedented surge in gang violence, fueled by the drug trade. The serene landscapes and vibrant culture that once defined this South American nation are now overshadowed by a growing sense of fear and insecurity. The lush Amazon rainforest, the majestic Andes Mountains, and the pristine beaches of the Pacific Coast are now backdrops to a grim reality that affects every corner of the country. The country's strategic location, sandwiched between Colombia and Peru, the world's largest cocaine producers, has turned it into a major transit hub for drug trafficking. This geographical positioning has made Ecuador an attractive route for drug cartels looking to transport their illicit goods to North America and Europe. The bustling ports and extensive coastline provide numerous entry and exit points for these illegal operations, making it increasingly difficult for authorities to control the flow of narcotics. This illicit trade has empowered criminal organizations like the Tigarones, who operate with increasing brazenness, undermining the rule of law and terrorizing the population. These gangs have established a stronghold in various regions, using violence and intimidation to maintain control over their territories. The local communities, once tight-knit and peaceful, now live in constant fear of gang reprisals and turf wars. The presence of these criminal elements has eroded trust in law enforcement and the judicial system, leaving many citizens feeling abandoned and vulnerable. The violence has reached alarming levels, with Guayaquil, Ecuador's largest city and its main port, becoming the epicenter of this conflict. Once a bustling commercial hub known for its vibrant culture and economic activity, Guayaquil is now synonymous with gang warfare and criminal activity. The port, a critical node in the global supply chain, has become a battleground for rival gangs vying for control over lucrative smuggling routes. The impact on the local economy has been devastating, with businesses closing down and tourism plummeting as a result of the ongoing violence. Shootings, bombings, and extortion have become commonplace, creating a climate of fear and insecurity. The daily lives of ordinary Ecuadorians are disrupted by the constant threat of violence, with many afraid to leave their homes or go about their daily routines. Schools, hospitals, and public spaces are not immune to the reach of these gangs, with incidents of violence occurring in places once considered safe havens. The psychological toll on the population is immense, with anxiety and trauma becoming widespread as people struggle to cope with the relentless cycle of violence. 
the government's efforts to combat these criminal groups have been met with limited success, hampered by corruption, lack of resources, and the sheer brutality of the gangs. Despite numerous initiatives and crackdowns, the authorities have struggled to make a significant impact on the ground. Corruption within the police force and other government institutions has further complicated efforts to restore order, with some officials allegedly colluding with the very criminals they are supposed to be fighting. The lack of adequate funding and resources has also hindered the effectiveness of law enforcement, leaving them ill-equipped to tackle the sophisticated operations of these gangs. The arrest of the Al Saivar brothers, however, offered a glimmer of hope, a sign that the tide might be turning in favor of law and order. These high-profile arrests were seen as a major victory for the authorities, demonstrating that it is possible to strike at the heart of these criminal networks. The brothers, who were key figures in one of the most notorious gangs, are now facing trial, and their capture has sent a strong message to other criminal elements. While the road to peace and stability is long and fraught with challenges, this breakthrough has given the people of Ecuador a reason to believe that change is possible. The hope is that with continued efforts and international support, Ecuador can reclaim its reputation as a land of beauty and tranquility, free from the grip of 